The physical properties of a substance um, are ones that are observable, observable, or measurable, but does not change the substance. All right, so observable or measurable, but does not change the substance. I know that definition is um, a bit confusing. Hopefully, this next slide will help uh, help clear that up. So our first example is um, state, whether it is a solid, liquid, or gas. So no matter what, um, if we change the state of the substance, the substance which here is H2O, is still H2O. Um, so no, no matter how it changes, ice, water, or steam, or water vapor, um, is still H2O, no matter what the state. So it makes it a physical property. Okay. Next one, we'll go to conductivity. And in conductivity, um, <clears throat> is the ability for the substance to transfer heat or transfer electricity. Um, so in the first example, you can see the burner heating up the pan and then the pan heating up the food inside of it. So the heat traveled through the pan. Over in this example here, we have the wire and electricity will run through the wire and then go into the light bulb and light the light bulb. So conductivity is also a physical uh, property. Let's move on. And next we have solubility. And solubility is its ability, ability to dissolve, dissolve in water. And down here to the left, you see an example. I think this is supposed to be salt. Uh, could very well be sugar, um, but you know e either either of which will dissolve in water. Also, we have the Kool-Aid Man, and uh, I put that one up there because Kool-Aid also dissolves in water. Something I'm um, I'm thinking you might be familiar with. Uh, and so we'll go to the next one. Oops. There we go. Ductility. All right, ductility is the ability for the substance to be shaped into wire. Okay, and here we have an example of copper being formed into wire. And then here we also have an example of how, um, you know, what ductility is and um, it's, it's, uh, the level of ductility some things have, so they stretch it on both sides and they um, change its shape, yet it is still the same substance. Okay, uh, I, think, I think one or two more. All right, malleability. The book, the book calls it um, the ability to pound, I think it says, into sheets. Um, I think generally it's just um, the ability for the substance to be reshaped. To be reshaped. And here we have an example of the metal being pounded flat into a foil. And then also here's another example where whatever that metal is, it's being, um, it's been shaped into forks and, and spoons and a knife. And yet it is still going to be the same substance. And then there is one, one more. And the last one is density. And this one is kind of the hardest one. Um, and that's why I have a separate video that explains density. And basically, density is mass compared to volume. And over here, you see a picture of two boxes that have the same volume, they take up the same space. Uh, the one on the right has more matter um, within it, so the one on the right will have more density. And it comes down to a formula 
And the formula, if I can find a good color that will suit this, um, is mass over volume. Okay, mass divided by volume. And I find I've, I use this picture because it has this kind of uh, interesting way to remember it, this heart, where the top part is the shape of the M and the bottom part is the shape of the V, so mass over volume. All right, we're running um, about five and a half minutes, a little bit longer than I usually like. Um, so there are a few other uh, physical properties uh, that our book mentions, I think um, strength or flexibility, something like that. Um, so go through it, Hope you, hopefully you have a better understanding, and I'll see you on the next video.